We are back, ladies and gentlemen, bringing you guys some more Series 3 content for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. We got a Chiyu and Tinglu team for Series 3, rocking out with two other very cool Pokemon. One of those is going to be Scissor. I know everybody loves Scissor, very good physical attacker and a very cool design. And then the second cool Pokemon is one of my all-time favorites. We got Klefki over here. I know a lot of people aren't a fan of Klefki, but you know what? Screw you guys. Klefki is awesome. I absolutely love Klefki. He's got Prankster, great on the support side with Lady Queen and Reflect, and we gave it the Lady Queen so we can actually keep the screens up a bit longer you guys already know the deal if you do enjoy the content anytime make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video and if you're not subscribed to the channel click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live but uh before we get started here with today's team preview i want to give a huge shout out to the team creator elijah thank you so much for making this team and sending it in my twitter dms cannot wait to use it and hopefully grab ourselves at least a winning record with this squad but we got ting lu for our first pokemon with the vessel of ruins as its ability and the leftovers as its item it's got poison tarot which is probably one of the better tarot types for ting lu with earthquake rock slide ruination and protect i'm loving this move set we got Titar for our second Pokemon, great bulky Pokemon with this Assault Vest, and it is very good at weather control. It's got Sandstream, Assault Vest like we already mentioned, Rock Slide, Crunch, Terror Blast, which will switch to Flying, and Brick Break for its final move. We got Chiyu in our third slot, and Chiyu has the Choice Scarf. Everybody knows Chiyu with Choice Scarf is very, very strong, because it can pretty much outspeed most Pokemon and get off a crazy amount of damage. It has Dark Pulse, Heat Wave, Snarl, and Psychic. Fourth Pokemon is going to be that Scissor, and I love Scissor's design in this game. It looks so good. Just the shading and the graphics on it makes it look top tier, so I'm super excited to actually just look at it again. It's got Technician, the Clear Amulet, Bullet Punch, U-Turn, Tailwind, and Protect. Really like this moveset considering we can get Speed Control, we can Pivot Out, and we have First Turn Priority Bullet Punch, which does crazy amount of damage with Technician. We have Fluttermane in our fifth slot, and this thing obviously pairs up with you very, very well, and then it has the Choice Specs on top of that to give it a bigger damage boost. It's got Dazzling Gleam, Shadow Ball, Moonblast, and Thunderbolt. Final Pokemon is going to be our support Pokemon, Mr. Jingly Keys Klefki over here. It's got Prankster, the Light Clay, both screen moves, and then Dazzling Gleam and Thunder Wave for Paralyzes and Speed Control. Guys, if you want to rent this team for yourself, rent the code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Let's grab some wins with this Klefki and Scissor Series 3 team. We're hopping into our first match and we're going up against an obvious Trick Room team here. Trick Room is going to be a little bit of a problem. How are we going to counter it? How are we going to play it? I feel like Screens Klefki could definitely come up clutch for us, right? We can paralyze Pokemon. We can put up some Screens. Try to waste some turns out on the Tailwind. But on top, or not Tailwind, out in the Trick Room. But on top of that, Scissor can be very good if Psychic Surge is not there, right? Even though, even with Psychic Surge, I still don't mind it, right? I still don't mind it, and the reason being, it has U-Turn, u turns going to be super effective on the few of these Pokemon. So I kind of like Scissor, I kind of really do like Scissor. But how else should I play this one? I got Ting Lu, Ting Lu is rather bulky, going to be decent in Trick Room 2 with the 60 speed, so might want to bring in that Pokemon, plus it drops physical attack. So that could be good, right? It drops physical attack, not special, it actually might drop special, it drops special. Yeah, special attack. So Pokemon like Hatterene, Torkoal, Ndidi, everybody except for Hariyama and... Annihilate. So yeah, I definitely want Ting Lu, but I don't know if I want to lead Ting Lu. Do I want to lead Ting Lu? Probably not. I kind of want to lead more so of Pokemon like Scizor here. I like Scizor. I really do like Scizor. So I'm going to go Scizor. I am going to go... Actually, I could go Chiyu. Nice little Twist Scarf Chiyu here. Could be very solid for us. I'm all about it. We're going to go Chiyu. We're going to bring Scizor, and then we're just going to bring Ting Lu. I can get down for that. I can get down for that. Yeah, let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in match number one. It's always good to start off your video with a W. Hopefully, we can do it today and get rocking with it. But Trick Room's a problem. Everybody knows Trick Room's a problem, especially going up against it. If you cannot counter it and kind of like slow down the turns, waste them out, you're in for a rough match because they're just going to outspeed you and the Trick Room Pokemon hit like trucks. But Annihilate and Didi come out here. I got Cluff Gichiyu, which I really, really like here. And I'm just going to set up the Reflect right here, right now. I could Dark Pull straight into Indeedee. I could do that. I could do that. Just to take it out. Or I can go after Annihilate. Because Annihilate's a problem, especially if it's going to just like bulk up and stuff. So Reflection come out from our slot. I could go into a Psychic if I want to. I could choice into a Psychic, but the problem is if they go for the follow me. Which I don't like. Hmm. I'm just going to get rid of Indeedy. If you bulk up, you bulk up. I, I, it's fine. It's not a big deal because we're gonna set up these screens here. So the screen's gonna come out here. And we're gonna go for the Dark Pulse for the KO. We don't KO. Psychic Seed's doing good. 
And a gambit's coming out here. And a clef key? Into my jingly keys? Not into my jingly keys. And are you trick rooming with uh, Indeedy? At least we did get off of Reflect. You gotta be popping a trick room, right? Are you popping trick room? We got the flinch. That is big time flinch. That is big time flinch. So instead of bringing out Ting Lu and dropping special attack, we're just gonna bring out Scissor, considering our Chiyu is fully speed boosted right now with this choice scarf. And that flinch was enormous. That was a big time flinch. So what he's gonna do here is, oh dude, kind of sucks. I wish we had a double hitting move because he's just going to go into a rage powder. He's gonna go into a rage powder. And a what's it call him? And a trick room. Right? There's just no denying it. So from here, what would do more damage? I'm trying to think of the boost for technician. Because we got bull punch 40 and this is 70. They're both stab. I think U-turn might do a little bit more damage. But I don't really want to swap, right? I really don't want to swap here. So I'm just gonna go for a bull punch. Actually, I can't bull punch. I cannot bull punch. I cannot bull punch. We'll try to throw this in, into Indeedee. And then from here, we're just gonna have to throw a dark pulse. But a rage power trick room is probably coming out here, right? If I had to guess. And no, it doesn't. No rage powder comes out here. That's totally fine. Cool with that. I, c I can get down for that. So no trick room yet. Who are you spawn? Spawn one of my pokies. So we're going to save our scissor for the back end. We couldn't use bullet punch, which kind of sucks. But again, we'll save it for later. And we'll bring out Ting Lu. So Ting Lu is going to kind of contradict my Chi Yu right here. But it's all good. Everything kind of turns out neutral. So let's see, Palm Puffs can come out here, and you tried healing up your Ndidi. Tried healing up that Ndidi. I guess he thought I was going for a, a Heat Wave here. But no, we were just steamrolling our opponents. And Iron Hands can come out here for the final Pokemon. I'm cool with that. I don't mind it. I don't mind it because, uh, do I drop a Rock Slide? No, I'm just going to Ruination it. i go for the Dark Pulse in this slot. So I'm choice into this. I'm cool with that. All right, battle was canceled. Match number one was too easy. Let's hop into our second match. Look to have some competition and grab ourselves another win. First match was just too easy. Our opponent stood no chance, but we're hopping into our second match and we're going up against a T-Tar and Lycanroc team alongside with Gyarados. Been seeing a lot of Gyarados in Series 3. Then they got Annihilate, Fluttermane, and Amoongus. I'm loving Klefki. I kind of want to bring it back out here considering this is my like first time using it in, in this game. And I just want to keep using it. Like, we don't get to use it too often. Might as well keep rocking with it. So, Klefki is going to be my lead. Might lead it with the T-Tar, but Gyarados with Intimidate could be a little bit of a problem. So, Scissor is not too shabby here. I don't really mind Scissor, right? Scissor is pretty powerful. I mean, Intimidate come out here, but we have to clear Amulet. So, I again, I really like Scissor. So, I'm going to lead the Scissor. I am going to bring in Chi Yu, or do I bring in Fluttermane? Or do I bring in both? Because I kind of want T-Tar here, right? Guitar's not too shabby, but Fluttermane is going to be good. And same thing with Chiyu. So I'm just going to bring in that squad. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look, grab ourselves back-to-back -back wins here in today's video. So we used Ting Lu a tad bit in the last match. We got him out there. Was going to use Rumination. Our opponent canceled battle. So did not technically get to showcase Ting Lu. But he was there. He was there. The only Pokemon that we haven't picked on our team so far yet is Titar. And Titar would have been decent here. I mean, it's not bad. But they're going to end up leading these two, which uh, I don't mind. I do not mind because I'm just going to simply set up a nice lovely reflect. I can drop some B punches. I can get cooking with that. I can get down with that. So, reflect out and about right now. We do have Gleam too, which I really, really like. We do have U turn here as well. And B punch. And I'm just going to bullet punch down the Lycan Rock. Because if anybody's going to Terrasalize, it is going to be the T Tar, correct? Makes the most sense. If anyone's Terrasalizing, it's the T Tar. You never really see like a rock terrestrialize, and since I said that, we know our opponent's gonna terrestrialize the like a rock now. <laughs> That's just gonna happen. We already know it. And he ends up with Joel and Tito. I like that. I don't mind that because we're bull punching in the like a rock slot. I am setting up a nice level reflect. Let's see who he goes into. Intimidated Gyarados. Poor guy doesn't know I'm clear amulet. I apologize. He's probably like, oh come on, man. He just wanted to get that. He just wanted to get that uh that intimidate off on my scissor. But nah, now we're bull punching. This thing's probably sashed, right? It's not. It is not. We are cooking. No sash, like a rock. That's weird. That's weird. That is weird. I don't like that because that means the sash is probably on a different Pokemon. But that's weird. That's weird. I was expecting the sash. I'll take it though. Annihilate comes out here. Um, I have Reflect out, and they're all physical attackers. So let's just start paralyzing Pokemon. Who do I paralyze first? Hmm. 
Who's getting to paralyze? I might see you turn out here. But who am I gonna paralyze? Annihilate could be annoying with the bulk ups. Gyarados is sitting here with the water moves. Um, I have Chi Yu, Fluttermane. I think we paralyzed the I want the Annihilate, but Annihilate's just such a problem. He's really such a problem. Um, I can't U-turn, but we already have or I mean I can't tailwind, but we already have speed. So I'm just gonna U-turn and pivot. But Scissor we probably go last with Scissor. I'm just gonna U-turn and do some damage on the Gary. The Thunder Wave comes out of here. Paralyzing the lovely little Annihilate. Who's probably going for a bulk up, right? Maybe he's just paralyzed this turn, which can be big. And out comes the waterfall. That is fine. My scissor soaks. Yo, he looks so good. And now we U-turn dip. We are out of here. See you later. We'll save our scissor for later. We shall save the skizzy skizzler. Okay, so now do I go into Chiyu or do I go into Fluttermane? Because the problem here would be if you go for a fighting move, Fluttermane would dodge it. But if you don't, it's going to be super effective. So that's high risk, high reward. But I feel like we have to go into this because a fighting move would be super effective into my Chi Yu. Alright, we're going into Flutz. We have Reflect up too, which is good for us. But I think they can just go for a bulk up anyway. Right? Bulk up seems to be the play. Yeah. So they're going to end up bulking up here. Uh, I think I just straight up Terrasalize. I mean, they might Terrasalize here as well too. But we got the Paralyze off on them. We have the Reflex out. I'm just going to Paralyze the Gyarados here. And I think I Terrasalize. I think I might just swap into Chi Yu over on the Klefki slot just to get the boost and then go into a Shadow Ball. We Terror Shadow Ball. The Terror Moon Blast would be good, but I think they Terrasalize the, the Annihilate into like fire or something along those lines so i feel as going into shadow ball is going to be our play now this is a withdraw on the gyarados that's fine we're withdrawing too and we're gonna get after it so let's see they go into tatar tatar and now we get a nice lovely swap out here i mean our fairy move would have actually been really really good but it's fine because i don't think they terrasalize Titar. i think they terrasalize an eye leap here let's see and if they don't terrasalize an eye leap here it's dead if they Terrasize and I late, then I don't have to worry about T-Tar because I can full punch, get on some big time damage on that. But I still have my Skizzy Skizzler in the back end. So out comes Flutz with the Terrasization. And there's a big time read for us. So he ends up Terrasizing that, probably in the fire. This is exactly why I went into a Ghost move instead of a Fairy move. It's just the right call. Yeah, there's fire. Great call from us going straight into that Ghost move. And we swap into Chiyu at the same time, which is a big time. A bit of you action. Shadow Ball's gonna fly here. How much damage are we doing? Some big time damage. It's a nice chunk. Rage Fist coming out here. That's exactly why we tear it as well. And can we eat that? We don't. This thing is just insanely broken. <laughs> this thing is so strong. That's why I had to go after and paralyze it. It's like, yo, this thing is just a problem. He's a problem. He is a problem. But I think we're fine here. I really do. I really do think we're fine here. I could bring out Klefki right now. I don't think we need to. I think going into straight Scissor here is going to be our play. Because from here, I can Bullet Punch. I can U-turn. I'm super effective onto a lot. So I might as well get off as much damage as we possibly can. So this final Pokemon is going to be Gyarados. We know he has Gyarados. We have the clear amulet. I'm not worried about any of this. Any of the intimates. The choice in the Dark Pulse is going to be our play to try to get rid of you. And then do I U-turn or do I Bullet Punch into you? I think we might just U-turn. The real question is, does Scissor outspeed that T-Tar? I think that's the real question. Because if I can U-turn... Oh, you're close. You're close to speeds. I think T-Tar's a little bit faster than you. I think we just go into a U-turn here. Nah, I think we just Bullet Punch. I'm gonna Bullet Punch you. We might swap into Gyarados, I don't know. Ends up just protecting overall. That's fine, because we're gonna take out Annihilate here. No problem. Bullet Punch can come out here. Block. Klefki does have Dazzling. We might need to use that later, but this should KO, no problem. Gyarados is going to come out here. I am going to Dark Pulse into Gyarados. And just keep ripping in that. But yeah, I really like where we're sitting here. We don't have Terra anymore, which kind of sucks, but... Still, I don't think we're sitting in that bad position. I really don't. Now, here's what I think happens. We Dark Pulse into Gyarados. We do as much damage as we possibly can. 
He's probably gonna take me out with a waterfall, and then we kind of just go from there. I could double down into it, but I think Dark Pulse and like a U-turn or something can get rid of it next turn. So I'm kind of with that. So I'm just gonna do that, and then Bull Punch into the T-Tar slot. The Bull Punch comes out of here. How much damage are we do? We still have Reflect, which is great. We do about half damage, which is solid. Half is wonderful. And is that policy? Your policy? Don't tell me that. Don't tell me that. That's a little ugly. That's real ugly. Maybe we should double down the Gyarados here. Could've been a little bit better for us, but Dark Pulse doing a nice chunk of damage, and of course you're buried. I was gonna say we could just protect next turn, and it will die to Sandstorm. But of course you're buried. Let's see how some plays out here. We get a flinch on the Gary, which is big, and Rock Slide's gonna connect and probably KO to you. It does, which hurts. Kind of sucks. Kind of sucks. So from here, what I'm thinking of doing is just going into Klefki, Dash and Gleaming, and protecting Sizzle. Because T-Tar can protect this turn, and they can take out my, my what's it called this turn, which would be ugly. And they can take out my scissor, which would be real ugly. So we're just going to protect just in case he wants to protect. And we'll see how this one plays out here. Got my boy. Got my boy. I think he does protect T-Tar, and he goes for a waterfall on the scissor. I really do think that's the play. Can I protect my skizzy skizzler? Let's see what T-Tar is doing. Is he staying in here? He's protecting. I read that all day. I read that all day. That was too easy. Waterfall's gonna come into my scissor. That's no problem, because we're blocking it, and Klefki getting off some free damage because that read. And now I can bullet punch, take out scissor, and start to solidify this match, right? Not bullet punch, take out scissor. Bullet punch, take out t time itself. So Gleam's gonna do a little bit of damage here. Um, hmm. Do I keep Gleaming? Klefki, what's your speed at? Do you outspeed T-Tar? That's the real question. Probably not, right? 95? No, you... Actually, you should. You do. You do You do outspeed T-Tar. I think we just still finish off T-Tar with this bullet punch. I think it's a play. And of course, you land a double protect. There's no shot. That's just happened. Kinda hurts his soul. Kinda hurts soul that you just... You might've just won on RNG. It really hurts. That really hurts. Oh! Even better, our Reflect makes us eat that up. That's what's up. Okay, cool. <laughs> cool, cool. That was gonna be a set. Alright, Klefki getting some work done with the Gleams. We're just gonna Gleam again, pull a punch down this slot. That's pretty much GG's, right? Wrap it up. We still have Reflect, which is good. You land three? Hold up. Wait a minute. Knock it off. That's not right. That's not cool. Hold up. Three? Not one? One's okay. Two's a little weird. Two's like, okay, maybe RNG's. You get a little bit lucky, but three? Hold up. Wait a minute. Three? How many turns is left in Reflect? We might set up another Reflect. Gleam's not going to KO the, the, the Gyarados here. One HP. And now we don't have Reflect. Ah. I'm still going for the Gleam. I'm still going for the Gleam rather than the Reflect, right? Oh, man. What do I do here? I think we have to go for the Gleam here. So Iron Head's gonna fly here. If you flinch me, you get a crit. Oh my lord. Gleam's gonna come out of here. KO, double KO. Alright. We outspeed the t -tar, so all we have to do is eat up the shot. Rock Slide. Can you eat that? My man, Klefki. The main man, Klefki. Clutching it. Clef Klefki. This is why you're my favorite. That's why you are my all time favorite. Klefki, let's go. Big time clutching up. They get three protects and almost screw us over, but still. Klefki hangs in there, clutches it up for us. We're 2-0. We just guaranteed ourselves a winning record. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. All the Klefki haters, take a seat. Take a seat and take a bow to the one and only Klefki. My man, MVP, no problem. Shoeing, unanimous MVP. Look at this thing. Any shiny, got a little gold, gold bling to him. He's looking good, and he's dominating in today's video. But we're hopping into our third and final battle, looking for that perfect record. Scissor, Shen Pao team, alongside with Great Tusk, Torkoal for Trickroom, which maybe they don't bring in, they might not bring in Torkoal, but then they have Fluttermane and Annihilate. So a Pokemon life like Klefki is going to be big time for us for screens. So I'm going to lead him again. I'm loving this Pokemon little Jingle League. He's getting its work done. Um, we also could bring Chi Yu. T Tar's not bad here either. But Scissor's a little bit of a problem, so Chi Yu's probably a must for us, right? 
So I don't know if I want to leech you. I kind of more so want to bring him in the back end just to deal with Scizor. So I am going to go in with T-Tar, or do I bleed a Scizor of my own? Scizor of my own is really not bad, so I am going to lead Scizor. Scizor, Chiyu, and then did we bring T-Tar? I said we have some fun with it. Rip, rip up with some T-Tar. No Flutter main action, even though Flutter main would be good. But I feel like a Pokemon like Scizor or even Annihilate is just going to rip into us. And Sucker Punch on. Shen Pao could be a little tough. But that is scary right there. Shen Pao and Scizor? That's scary. I'm surprised we haven't seen that as as often as like Dragonite and Shen Pao. Even though Dragonite and Shen Pao is just insanely powerful. I feel like Technician, Steel Terra, Scizor would just rip. Right? It would just rip. But he ends up leading these two. Um, the real question is, do I bull punch into the flutter main? I think so, right? I am going to set up the reflect here. Where do I set up the light screen? I think we set up the light screen first and foremost. So I like our typing. And I might just tail in here. Who could they swap into here? Do I tail in? I think I'm just going to go for the bull punch. It might be a Terra Fairy. Quick guard comes out here. Oh, wow. I think it's a really good play. That's a really good play. It's a really, really good play. Maybe I should just set up a Tailwind. Do we think he's gonna quick guard again? Maybe? Possibility? There's a possibility. I don't know. Let's see what Fluttermane goes for. You have Mystical Fire. Okay, bye bye, Scissor. Dead all day. Even through the light stream. Yep. Quick guard play with Scissor. That was beautiful. That was a really good play. Really, really good play. Uh, we could bring out T-Tar here. I could go to you with the Choice Scarf, which I really like with the Heat Waves. I'm gonna rock it. To you, come on out here. All right, so from here, uh, what do I do? Paralyze the Flutter Main or set up Reflect? Let's set up Reflect. Reflect out here. I'm gonna tear it into Straight Fire. I'm looking to get off as much damage as I possibly can. Cause that, that was a great first turn from our opponent. Quick guarding the Bullet Punch and then having Mystical Fire on Flutter Main was just such a huge play. So I'm terrestrializing. They might be terrestrializing. I'm not too sure. We'll figure this one out. We shall see. But I get off the screens, which is big time for us. I really like the screens here. So Klefki's going to be ripping paralyzed probably after this. So Scissor ends up protecting. That is fine. Heat Wave's going to come out here. Get off some nice damage. We got screens out and about. Chiyu should be able to eat up another shot. And he should be able to eat up a bullet punch, no problem. Especially with Reflect out and about. But he wait, might even be able to KO. Stab. We have this special attack drop or special defense drop. It's going to chuck up some nice damage, but it doesn't KO. Mystical Fire comes through here. And you go after my keys. My Jingly Keys eats, though. Lovely Jingly Keys. Uh, Okay, Jingly Keys. You are just going to... Maybe do we hard swap here? I don't want to hard swap because he's just going to bullet punch in the Clefki slot. Kind of sucks, right? So we're not going to swap Clefki. We're going to Thunder Wave just in case he wants a Terror Scissor. And then throw another Heat Wave into this. So he ends up withdrawing the Flutter Mean. The Flutter Mean gets to withdraw. He's going to Bull Punch by my Clefki. Twirkle's going to come out here and just help us out. Twirkle's coming out here. We have T-Tar, which I can change weather. And drop a Rock Side, which could be good. Thunder Wave is going to miss. Kind of hurts. And Bull Punch is going to fly here. So yeah. I expected the Bull Punch to come out here. That's kind of fun. I mean, Klefki got up the screens. I don't think we're sitting in a terrible position if this Heat Wave lands, right? We need this Heat Wave to land. And it does. Okay, so that's a big time Heat Wave. Should actually do a decent amount of damage to Torkoal, right? Yes. Awesome. Dope. Loving it. Loving it. We might we might win this match. We might win this match after a terrible first turn. It wasn't terrible on our end. It was just a great play by our opponent. But now we bring out the lovely T-Tar. We change weather back. We can Rock Slide. We have Vests. We have Screens. Really, really bulky, our team. And Shen Pao comes out here. I'm not worried about that. I really am not. I really am not. Heat Wave Rock Slide's definitely a play. Sandstorm's kicking up. I don't have Terra, because it's all my Chi Yu. And now I just drop a Rock Slide and I choice to this Heat Wave. <laughs> I like where we're sitting. This is really good for us. They have Flutter Main in the back end. If I keep Chi Yu, Chi Yu's gonna be able to outspeed. He's got that Choice Scarf, mwah, which I'm loving. Torkoal opts to protect. That's fine. We're doubling down with double hitting moves. And you are going to get off one turn. Unless we miss this heat wave. We don't miss heat wave. Huge. 
This thing's probably focus ash, yeah. So it doesn't matter if it if we miss a rock slide here. He's gonna go before us, take a shot. If we miss rock slide, sandstorm damage is gonna take us out. Sega Sword is going to fly, and we end up eating thanks to that reflect and to our bulk. Our lovely little bulkiness. But yeah, we pretty much wrap up this match, right? We pretty much wrap up this match. Because he's gonna bring back out Fluttermane. We have that thing low on HP. We're ready to drop it with a heat wave. We outspeed everything. We just need to land our attacks, right? That's just our main focus here. If we just have to land this heat wave on the flutter main, that's that's the main focus here. But yeah, after those reflects set up, oh baby, we get cooking. We get cooking. So heat wave's gonna fly, we're just gonna keep going with a rock slide, and this should wrap it up. The only way we lose here is RNG, right? And I think that I think I think that's gonna happen. I feel like I have an odd feeling that we're gonna lose the RNG right here, right now. Heat wave's gonna miss the flutter main. Flutter main is going to gleam. Oh, yeah. If we miss this heat wave, he can flamethrower me down. Oh, no. He can earth power and gleam to finish off my T-Tar and do some damage onto me. Oh, man. This could get ugly. We just need to land a heat wave. I, again, I have an odd feeling we miss this heat wave. I don't know why. But I just feel it. And we don't. Thank you, chi -Yu. Thank you, my dog. See you later, Fluttermane. See you later, Torkoal. And there it is. Complete domination in today's video. Klefki, unanimous MVP. We go 3-0. Grab ourselves a perfect record. All rise for Klefki. Everybody, take a bow. Take a bow to one of the best Pokemon in Rank Ladder. Just playing with you guys, but Klefki is the real deal. Really, really powerful on the support side. Has Prankster, has Screens paired up with Lay Clay. You got up Screens, and everybody knows Screens are super, super strong within Rank Double Battles. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread this positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.